Hey guys, it's Nathan back with another video. Today in Photoscapex, I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail template in Photoscapex for your YouTube channel. So you can make this in uh, Photoshop, you can make this in uh, different photo editing softwares, but in Photoscapex, uh, there's a real nice way you can do some templates as well. What this means is that let's say you're getting ready to make another video and you say, hey, I want to make that thumbnail. And let's say you're going through a series of videos and maybe there's some that are going to have a similar look in the thumbnail. So let's say you've got batch editing in Photoscape X and then here's some three photos here to kind of showcase that you're batch editing. If you save it as a project file, you'll be able to jump back in like it's a template and say, oh, instead of this, it's going to be, oh, um, it's going to be a color um uh, editing and then oh photoscape x and then you can adjust a couple different things but then you could get a whole nother thumbnail done with just a few clicks because you've made yourself a template so we're going to show you from scratch today how to make a template in photoscape x so you're going to open up photoscape x hop over to the editor hit new and we're going to go to 1280 by 720. Uh, and that's in the presets here to a YouTube thumbnail. We're going to select, um, instead of transparent, we're going to select it as a solid color white. It'll make it easy to see everything that's going on here. So that is our canvas to work on. Let's start putting things on the canvas. So first you're going to want your background. What's your main background? Now, if you want it to be white, you've already got it started. Um, but for me, I'm making a video on OBS, which is open broadcasting software. Basically, so you can make um, uh, videos just like this. Basically, it's a screen recording. You got my face in there. It made, it's using a green screen. So it works out great. I'm making a video going through some of the basics of that uh, software. So I want to use probably the logo. So I actually have the logo downloaded already, and I can just drop that right on. Unfortunately, I didn't have it selected on the Insert tab. So I'll have to open new. Hit that, then we'll go to insert, and we're gonna insert that image. So we'll insert the image in, and you have the image in there. So that's great, but then what about the rest of it? Well, we can add some text in here, and we can do OBS, and we can write in basics. You could write that, you could do that, and you could be done. And it'd be really simple and pretty straightforward. Now, there's a few other things you could do here. Let's say you wanted a different background. And for me, that's what I want. Now, what kind of color scheme do I want for the background here? Well, if someone's looking up OBS and they're looking up some basics, they probably have the software already. So they're looking for something that's going to be familiar to them saying, oh, this is OBS. So actually what I did was I went to the OBS uh, website and they have their website here and I looked at it hey they've got this like blue dark blue uh, color scheme going on on their front page maybe I could use some of that in my thumbnail some of those colors there so what's neat is I can actually go and take some of those colors and use them in the thumbnail now there's different ways to do this and I'm debating how I want to teach it to you guys but here's a way that will work out pretty easily for you. So we're gonna put Photoscape X on one side, Chrome on the other, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these colors. So what I'm gonna do is go over here to, uh, go over here to insert, I'm gonna grab the square drawing tool, and what I'm gonna do is in color, I'm going to go to the color picker and I'm going to select one of these colors. We'll start with this lighter blue. So we get that color selected and then I can draw a square with that lighter or yeah that lighter blue it's still pretty dark but then I can uh, go to the color picker again and I can grab the darker color and then I can draw as long as I got that to work let's see I can draw that darker color maybe I selected the wrong color to begin with here's the lighter color oh it's still selected on the same one of course We'll hit duplicate there. So then we have two different squares. I was wondering why it was getting all mixed up. So we've got one lighter and we've got one darker. Is that correct? 
Right? They should be different. Why do they look the same? That is so weird. Is it like an optical illusion or something? They should look different, guys. Yes, it is a different color. It's just really eerily similar. Maybe my lighting's like so off that I can't tell the difference on these. Okay, well, nonetheless. Yeah, I can adjust the color like that. Maybe I'm teaching you guys the wrong way and it's gonna be too confusing for everyone. Okay, here we go, two different shades. <laughs> I don't know why that took so long. Let me see, let me make another duplicate and we'll see if there's another shade in here that I need. This one, did I get it? There's this one, this one. It's a slightly different shade, but it's really close. Okay, so we have these few different shades of color. This is the different colors that are on their website. So the reason why I wanna do this is because I want it to look similar to what people have already seen on OBS. So if I zoom out, I can see I've got these three different colors and I'm gonna arrange them in a different way. Let's see, we'll do this dark color here and we're gonna arrange it on like an angle and this color is gonna be here and it's gonna like finish this up there. Then we got this color here. We're gonna like angle it a different way and we're gonna like bring it in like that. And let's try to make some of these percentages the same. So like we'll go with this one at a 10% a turn. This one here will have a 10% turn this way. This one will also be at like a 10% turn. So. Then it's also the question on like what looks good uh, which can be a very challenging thing at times. Do another 10% here for the bottom. And then we could uh, duplicate it again and do like a little bit on the top. Now, does that look good? I don't know, but that's my background. And, you know, some people might be like, oh, man, I love it. Other people be like, that looks lame. Uh, for the text... We could keep it just like totally white. We could look at like what they use over here. Over here, they don't even put a border or nothing. So we're not trying to do it identical. It's really just whatever you want, but uh, could be helpful to maybe pick a font that's similar to it. Um, sometimes you just have too many options and it's just like, hey, I would really like to just pick something that looks really good. So we could do something like OBS basics and we could put the logo right up here. We put that down there. Now, one thing that could be helpful here to make this OBS basics look even better, um, I could Adjust the spacing a little bit on this line spacing or this letter spacing. Kind of crunch it together just a little bit. I can make the text bigger then. And then what I can do is I can actually go and I can add in a few things on the sides here to make it look even better. So I could go to Google google.com gonna look up OBS and then in here I can get some samples that should work out really nicely uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do tools I'm gonna do large size and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab a few different screen grabs of people's OBS screens or I could do my own. Oh, look at this. Somebody did this. Look, someone literally did like similar to exactly what I'm doing. Wow. I guess I'm not as original. <laughs> they really like this color scheme for whatever reason. So, um, 
what we could do is we could even open up OBS and we could just run it like that. But like, uh, let's say we've got this. Oh, here we go. There's a few good screens in here. So I can hit save image. I can hit save image. I can go down and hit save image. And you know, you can go and get all these yourself. So I don't think that I'm necessarily doing anything wrong by just grabbing them real quick. So you guys can do that however you'd like. Just drop these different images in. Okay. So we've got some different images in here now. So we can, we could even back this up and put the logo in here if we really wanted to. But instead, what I'm actually looking to do is I'm looking to put these along the side a little bit. So I'm looking to just like drop certain things in so that it looks good. Now the challenge here, as some of you guys may be noticing, is that, you know, it doesn't look as polished as it could. Now, what I would say to that is that a lot of it is because I don't have uh, certain, certain things on here. I can round the edges a little bit if I wanted to. Maybe that'll help with a little bit of different look or feel to it. Uh, perhaps it's something where I just make it really big on these edges here. Then let's take that roundness away, actually. Yeah. Sometimes you can just throw images in and it works out great. If not, and you want to do some more adjusting and stuff, like here's kind of what I would need to do. I would need to actually open up another uh, Photoscape X uh, window. And I would need to start working on a few of these images in here. Because really what I want because I want something like I want to crop out this desktop audio section. And I want to crop that out. I want to copy it to clipboard and then I want to paste it in here. Well, actually, before I copy it out to clipboard, I also want to put a frame around it, a border, and then adjust it in like that. That's what I want to do. Then I want to copy that to clipboard, throw away these other ones. Go over here to paste. Then you've got this guy in here. It's going to look really good. Then I can go over here to back over here to this. I can undo. I can grab a different section if I would like. I can do that same frame setup like I just did. Copy to clipboard, paste right in there. Put something in there like start streaming. That'll get everyone all excited to begin streaming their master film gameplay or whatever they're going to work on. Cool. Um, then maybe there's something else in here that could be helpful because a lot of times it's just like, hey, how well do you know your stuff or how well does it look in your uh, in your process there? Cool. Nice. Save as. No, you understand. That's right. I'm just uh, 
copying the clipboard and then pasting it out. Okay. Um, and then one other thing. Let me just open up my actual OBS that's going on. And then I'm going to go hit Control Alt Print Screen. That's just going to take a screenshot real quick. I'll be able to jump in here, hit paste. Um, is there any other section in here that I would want to put in? I actually might want to crop this over here. Nice. Hit apply. Hit copy the clipboard. Paste that over. Yeah, this will look uh that should look much better. Oh yeah. Good. Yeah, we'll uh, probably call all that good. I want to not make it look too crammed. As I move a few things around. Oh, yes. So, you kind of got to adjust different things, see what you like, see what works. Um, but, yeah, you get to the place where you're happy with uh, how it looks and then you're basically ready to export when you're ready to export you want to hit save as you want to save that out um, but when you're saving it out you're going to want to uh, make sure to save as a project as well so if we have my saved out templates wherever I have those there we go we'll want to do OBS and we'll just write in temp and we got that good and then we can save just normally and we're going to not include objects outside of the canvas space and then we can just hit save as we'll just save this over to desktop so you guys can see what the final result ends up looking like here's what the final result at the end of the day looks like uh, so if we zoom this down to like a 720p uh, logo that's what it looks like right there we end up with some colors that look good we get the background the logo there we got some different images from the software and you're ready to go some people would say hey what if you put a border on that or what if you made a little adjustment here you definitely can and it actually might look a whole lot better but what this does is it means if I close out of all this stuff close out of Photoscape X altogether I can reopen Photoscape X at any time in the future I can go over to my uh, templates I can go look up OBS and I'll have my OBS template right here I can click right into it I can go hit edit and all this stuff is still totally adjustable and able to move and all of that so it's really nice because you still have that full flexibility at the end of the day but really that started from pretty much scratch. Now the background, we made ourselves using some different colors that they uh, made available to us on their website. And then we just kind of took some screen grabs different places and all that. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. I wasn't trying to you know reinvent the wheel or anything, but really getting these templates down. So down the road when I say, hey, I'm ready to make another OBS video, I have this ready so then I can jump in and do that instead of them all looking like you know just one style or all being very different very random so uh, you guys I hope this video was helpful for you all and I will see you all in the next one goodbye